Holy Week, I came to a meeting and oh my gosh, the people there were so welcoming. And, uh, you know, I, I didn't feel like I'm sitting there like a bump of a lot. People come up and introduce themselves. I would go around and, and meet some people and then, you know, talk to a few other members over the course of a couple of weeks and said, oh, you know, this, this sounds like it's going to be a good fit. Um, I'm Leslie Schur. I'm semi-retired. Um, I uh, had worked initially as a pharmacist and then a pediatrician in an academic medical center uh, and then moved into pharmaceutical industry and research and development where I am currently part-time a consultant. So I started um, as a pharmacist um, and was interested after a summer internship in pursuing the, uh, the going into the pharmaceutical industry. Um, surprisingly, though, I ended up being a retail pharmacist, uh, worked my way after a couple of years to medical school, um, became a pediatrician, um, uh, had a passion for kids and for new moms, and um, uh, was in an academic uh, medical center, so I taught medical students and um, we developed some research programs as well as some public health initiatives for the children in, in South Jersey. And after I think it was about 18 years or so, I got married, um, had my own family, started to raise that family, and then moved over back to public health based part of the pharmaceutical industry and eventually into uh, research and development. And currently I'm a consultant to the pharmaceutical industry. What I like most about the part-time work is the investigative nature of it. Um, um, I also like the collegiality of the team, um, working with a team, everybody bringing their own um, expertise to, to the group to um, improve the process as well as the product. I, uh, so I, I went into semi-retirement just as COVID was hitting and oh my gosh, I missed the collegiality of, of people. I mean, there was a lot we could do through Zoom, but um, I miss getting together with people and having fun. And I especially miss the um, travel, which I had planned to do with my husband um, at the time that I was retiring. So we, we missed that. So I started looking for other ways to fill my days and I came across pickleball and I became addicted, absolutely addicted to it. And I love outdoor pickleball. Uh, here in Chestnut Hill, we have the Water Tower Recreational Set. And great group of people that we could be, you know, distance, socially distanced, but still have um, have a lot of great fun, a lot of exercise. Uh, it, it was, it was just, it just brightened my day, which was learning to play a piano, finally. I never did that. Um, refreshed my memory of how to play Pinochle, which I remember playing with my grandfather when I was growing up. I'm a lifelong learner, so I signed up for during COVID for all of these online courses just to learn more about um, science and technology and things that I, you know, and, as well as art, um, something that my very left brain nature uh, never really pursued. A group of us um, from different medical specialties um, went to an orphanage in the Dominican Republic to provide health care. Uh, there was also an opportunity, um, even when, you know, also with the Academic Medical Center in New Jersey, where I worked, um, we developed a program to provide medical care uh, to the children of the seasonal migrant workers who would come up to the blueberry fields and other fields in, in southern New Jersey. And we would provide vaccines and worked with this local school district there to provide education to those kids when they came up as well. Turing has taken me to Hilltop Bookstore, which supports the Chestnut Hope branch of the Free Library of Philadelphia. Hilltop is a wonderful store of used books, all donated. It's across the street from the Teens Cafe in Chestnut Hill. And um, 
Uh, that's been a lot of fun because, again, I being very science oriented for most of my career, I really didn't explore like nonfiction and novels. And um, you know, there, there's pieces of me missing um, interest that I had that had been missing or laying dormant for a long time. So I've been able to explore that through work at the bookstore. You know, I went to a volunteer fair in Mount Airy a, a couple of months ago, and um, uh, one table kind of caught my attention that has to do with kids. She said, have you ever considered the Chestnut Hill Rotary? The following week, I came to a meeting, and oh my gosh, the people there were so welcoming. And, uh, you know, I, I didn't feel like I'm sitting there like a bump on a lot. People come up and introduce themselves. I would go around and, and meet some people. And then, you know, talk to a few other members over the course of a couple of weeks. And I find at, about what they did. And it's fortuitous that at that time, the Rotary was presenting the things they had accomplished in 2023. Uh, I said, oh, you know, this, this sounds like it's going to be a good fit. So I like the people, um, I like the camaraderie, that, but more than that, it, it's, or in addition to that, I should say, it's, it, it's just the, the, the projects that the Rotary is involved with, um, from uh, not just community activism, although that's, that's very important, community support, but the, it's the support, the, the, the health support, the polio program, the prevention point program, um, and, and then the environmental impact, um, and, and especially the disaster relief. Um, I thought it's very interesting to me. And those are some of the projects that I'd like to get involved with. And then lastly, there is also the educational component, the support to the schools, the, the literacy programs for kids, the leadership, the STEM uh, 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 advancement or, or opportunities to help kids get into STEM careers. And um, I mean, at each of those functions or, 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 or programs, I should say, touched something in me and, and, and really felt that I could join this group and have an impact. That it's not just kind of sitting around, like even just brainstorming or fundraising. It's, it's that. Yes, but it's also the, the you know, getting up and digging in and, and you know, being actively involved in these programs, each of those programs. And that's what really attracted me to growth. And he was talking about the concept of being useful. And that just like hit a nerve with me because I've always felt that. When I was working, whether I was teaching medical students or I was working in, in industry, I always told my students or, or my younger peers that I was mentoring to leave a place better than you found it. And this concept of be useful was something that Arnold Schwarzenegger said his father had hammered into him since he was a teenager. And it's kind of the same concept in that you know, you find your passion by examining certain, there's tools for living that Arnold lays out in this book. And, and it, but it, it all kind of boils down to what can you do to be useful to the world?